It's on the borders of Scotland and we're at Reedsdale Forest and it says no camper van, no caravan, sorry, and no tents. Well, we're neither of those. <laughs> so, and we're exhausted. It's been a very, very long drive. Uh, we stopped off at one of the... Uh, we stopped off at Durham. And, uh, so we've got toilets here. And had a bit of a break, but Storm's been sick in van while we've been travelling because he doesn't travel very well at all, bless him. Uh, and I'm absolutely exhausted, I've got an headache and I'm starving. We only had a bloody Greg sausage roll all day. And oh, we stopped at Ferry Bridge this morning. So we set off at half eleven, I've no idea what time it is now, I'll have to check my phone in a minute. But there's a walk that goes down there. Which looks really nice. <laughs> Look at all the Scottish pine. This tree was planted to celebrate 100 years of forestry from 1919 to 2019. So apparently all the reviews on whatever map thing that uh, Kev uses says that they've, they've had a peaceful night here and that there's only one sort of Farmer came and said, you can't park here. <laughs> so, we're going to risk it because I really can't drive anymore. Do not go any further. Okey pokey. <laughs> I won't. It's a bit nippy. We've had hot weather, cold weather. It's, uh, at least it's not rained. But yeah, he sat nav took us uh, took we well, took us wrong way and rerouted us and we ended up going through loads of countryside and stuff. It's probably had an extra hour onto us trip maybe, but it's fine because at least we're off that bloody motorway. It's all right, it's motorway, but Jesus, it's boring. And uh, everyone seems to be walking down here. So oh, and there's a river flows through it. Well, there's a farmhouse there, so it's that farmer there that's apparently complained before. A little tiny waterfall. Oops. The storm is exhausted, bless him. It proper takes it out of him when we travel. Even short distances, he don't like it. For the cars to move, so I can move my van next to Kev's because it's a bit deeper there and I'm like hanging out into it with audio. This is where we are. Look at that big beetle. Oh, it's gone under the grass. <laughs> nice cow coming. My boo. <coughs> ladies. Take your mat over the ladies. This is the ladies. I've got soap dispensers with no soap in them. I guess there used to be a tap. There's no tap there now. It's fairly clean. Someone must come and clean them. There's, back, there's a bottom up floor there. And that's the only one that locks. <laughs> Hello. That's cool. Pretty cool. This is what we drove through. Coming down. Into this little car park thing. The sun's come back out because it was freezing when it went out, when it went in. Glad I got some spare diesel for my diesel tank just in case. Oh, it is. Huge. Oh, there's a little stream. I can hear it, but I can't see it. I might see it over the bridge. Let's go over the bridge. Hope the trolls don't get us. Stormsy. Solar panel. I don't know what that's for. Maybe the gate. Oh, sewer. It's for the sewer. There's the river. We'll try it other side because you can see with the sunshine. Some meadow sweet here, look. Oh. 
Oh, 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 stormy, let's get this meadow sweet. You're driving down, and all you could smell a meadow sweet driving down that country lane because it went everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Meadow sweet smells delightful. So, we're not quite in Scotland yet. We've probably got the same amount of time drive tomorrow to get to like Edinburgh way and uh, it's just I feel bad for Storm because he really don't travel well but we did stop and <coughs> got him out for toilet breaks and uh, he had a trundle and didn't actually attack the other dogs which was interesting <coughs> I'm going to slip. Storm, please do not pull me, whatever you do. What we do, what we do for you guys, for the herbalism stuffs. I'm on a slope here, heading straight into the river. Absolutely gorgeous here, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. It wasn't too bad a drive, actually. There were a few nutters on the motorway. They were, went through congestion where the uh, Angel of the North is. Um which was quite a ways was the congestion uh, and I <laughs> bloody stopped right next to Angel at North and didn't see it until we were pulling away I'm like god damn it and then I had to get, try and get my phone on camera and uh, anyway you'll see the picture but it was a bit crap so I've said we might depending on how we're feeling up way back I might go I'm stop there not doing it justice Really not doing it justice in camera. Look. That's just beautiful. We'll go to the ridge and then uh, we'll probably on park for night. There's someone just two weeks ago said the park to you, so hopefully we'll be alright. And it's Sunday tomorrow, so maybe park there and just get a day off. Who knows? Wind's picking up. There is another little car park, but you have to go down the slope to it. it seems a bit more hidden away. But, um, I don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it. Hang on, Sammy. Crap, massive root. Can you see it? Can you see it? Whoa. That was a big beastie. Private land up there. The sun's gonna set tonight, but it's very, very pretty. And we're not even in Scotland yet. <laughs> this way to the Pennine Way. Look at the sunshine. Wild raspberries. <laughs> raspberries for breakfast. And him back to the van. I think this is in the car park. I think it would have been alright if we'd have gone in there, but um, I think it's too. There's that little bit there, maybe that could have caught the van. This is where we are, guys, for the night. Let's hope we don't get the knock. Because I'm way too tired to drive any further. The life of a herbalist. I've only been here a couple of hours. I've got a plate full of self-heal or heal-all. I've got some oxide daisies to go with my others that I've tried out. I've got a pan full of meadow sweet. I'm just going to crack the window so all the critters can get out. What's on outside? Excuse me, and I've got a few daisies that will come go on top of there because I've got chamomile and calendula and uh, whatever else I've got under there still drying out. 
So yeah, live of a herbalist. This is what we do. Oh, it's just taken me a while to process this lot. Get all the bits off that we don't want. All the bad bits and all the grass and everything else that comes out when you when you harvesting. Little critters. Oh, I need to get my keys and open a window for them. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do with these while I'm driving, though. <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure something out. Anyway, it's evening now. And I'm going to shut down and go to sleeps. <laughs>